Welcome back. I hope you guys are ready for the first big trick, and that is white liner. What do you do with this? Does anybody know? Uh, I actually have three tricks that I really love it for, and I'm going to show you some of those today. So the first is making sure it's sharp, <laughs> obviously, and um, I need coffee in the morning. I need to wake up, but there's something that's almost as good as coffee for helping me look awake, and that is white liner. So what I do Pull this down a little bit, and I simply line right here on the waterline. And if you've got really, uh, if your eyes run a lot, if they're quite moist, I know all of us hate that word, but if they are, you can dry that waterline off before you do this. But take a look. Automatically, my eyes look more open. I look more awake. It actually helps minimize the red um, tint that you can get if you didn't have a great night's sleep in and around your eyes, the bloodshot look, and it helps you uh, look more alert. All great things for a mom, right? <laughs> the other thing I like to do is I can make my brow uh, look a little bit more defined just simply by doing a quick line underneath. Um, I would then go back through, kind of smudge that, and I can put my shadow right over top of that. Kind of gives you a little bit of lift and a little bit of definition. Especially helps if you haven't been tweezing often enough. Um, and then the final tick is one of my favorites. And it's it helps your lips look a little bit fuller, a little bit more uh, dynamic, and not quite so one-dimensional. And you have on lipstick or gloss or liner. You can do this with our... Um, their liners. If you did the liners, you then go ahead with the color and line the lips around the liner and then kind of rub like I just did and put a gloss on top. But since I have it, I'm going to show off my new lipstick and do it with this. So you can see right in here. Actually, let me get right in there. You want to make sure you get like right in the center of your lips, not the whole lip with the white. You'll look like a crazy clown, at least for a few minutes. And then back over with your lipstick. It's really hard to do that without a mirror, just so you know. Can you see how it looks a little bit lighter down there? It makes my lips look fuller um, and more like they uh, exist. <laughs> Since I had tiny little lips, I'm just going back over the top there because I didn't have quite as much dimension as I wanted. So there you go. That's called an ombre lip. It's all the rage. It looks great in lots of colors. My absolute favorite is to use the white liner with pompous and then put either lovable or luxe over the top. Favorite look for me. Hope you guys try it and enjoy your white liner.